Hey, what's happening everybody on YouTube, Reddit, and anybody else? I hope you're having a fantastic day. I know I'm having a great day. Uh, bought some awesome shrimp here I'm going to show uh, in a second. I had to drive really far for them, but I'll talk about that in a second. First thing I wanted to talk about today is I want to thank you for all the new subscribers, uh, people who saw the video my son and I did uh, on his aquascape and my other son he has one too we have lots of them and uh, many videos on those uh, my, my videos are mostly geared towards uh, beginners and plants specifically um, where where you would buy them where a beginner would would come across plants and fish for the first time and you know as a beginner my first place I went to is one of the big chain stores. You don't know to go looking for, you know, aquatic nurseries or fish breeders and shrimp breeders and all of that. So you're in a Petsmark or a Petsco. You're walking through there and you're like, oh, there's a cool fish. It's only three bucks. I'll buy that. Oh, hey, there's a plant, something called uh, some uh, bulbitis. I'll buy some of that. That'll look cool in the tank. Um, I, I, I wanted to explain that I've come across a lot of videos um, of aquascapers. YouTubers that have thousands and thousands of subscribers and I, I, I saw a couple in particular that will tell you that any plants that you get from PetSmart or PetsCo that they're all going to die, which is not true. I, I started off literally have dozens and dozens of videos where I have bought almost every single plant that you can get at either one of those those uh, big chain stores, you know, and they are great beginner plants. His uh, reasoning for why he says they all die is because that's just what happens. It doesn't matter if you buy a plant that's grown emerged, submerged, or it was cloned in agar, which is those little plants that you will find in plastic with that clear gel in there. Those are cloned plants that have, are, are in a completely sterile environment. Those are the hardest because those you're putting into a tank and they, they haven't even experienced bacteria yet or ammonia or anything. So... You know, uh, but anyway, he was, he's completely incorrect. Almost every plant you get, it doesn't matter how it was grown. It, it's going to, if it's converting from a submerged environment where it was grown underwater and then put in your tank, some of the stuff on it's still going to die off and it's going to regrow. And that's just due to shock. Lots of plants do that. If you buy something that was grown immersed, all of its leaves are slowly going to die. And then you're going to think you have a dead plant. And then all of a sudden you'll see some new growth come out of nowhere. And you're like, whoa, I didn't know that was going to happen. Well, that's because it's got to ditch all the ones that were grown, you know, loaded in air and grow new leaves that are aquatic. And then um, if you buy, uh, buy them that weren't ever submerged or even um, immersed at all, just, uh, you know, two plants that are in uh, clumps of agar, um, those have to go through a conversion process too, including Java fern, which he was focusing on Java fern saying that they won't die, but he didn't even realize that Java fern, you got to remove a string from the roots when you buy them at those big chain stores. Uh, and anyway, if you're ever in doubt, don't, yeah, I am not a sponsor for Petco or PetSmart. They don't pay me to say these things. That's where I started. And I started making videos showing people specifically how to deal with them, remove them, treat them right, trim them properly, plant them and they'll grow. And if you want proof that those plants do work, scroll through my videos, find the one where I'm showing how to plant it and uh, propagate it, and I'll do a live video and show you that it's still alive today, months and months later, after it's done its complete transition. You know, so, uh, you know, I'd like to tell you don't believe everything you hear on the internet because uh, I know what I'm saying is true, but then I'm seeing other people who have thousands and thousands of subscribers listening to these inexperienced aquascapers who have no idea and they're telling them these are the ones that are going to die these are the ones that are going to live they'll all live you go somewhere it says it's an aquatic plant it's an aquatic plant it's just got to go through a transition and i do explain this on almost every video where i'm showing the plant that you have is not the same plant you're going to see a month later or a few days later however fast of a grower it is so keep those things in mind if you come across videos like that. Come back to mine and watch. Where I actually pull the plant out. Slap it out on a table and show you. And then show proof of tanks months later with these cheap plants from the huge chain stores. And then when you start ordering online, I do show how to deal with those also. If you don't happen to have an aquatic nursery near you or wherever you live. Um, but the point is... 
if you do your due diligence and take your time, these plants do come back. Just because you see it dying all the way back, that it's it, it's normal. It's supposed to go through that. So understand that. Um, anyway, let me uh, show what I'm super excited for. These guys right here. These are called Blue Dream Neo Caradinas. Bought a pack of them. And I've got Neo Caradinas in here everywhere. There's, I know I just saw red really somewhere around here. Well, we'll start doing shrimp videos here soon uh, also because I've gotten into shrimp big time and uh, a lot of hands-on experience with that. And uh, if anyone has any questions of of any kind of any plant because that's where I started is with plants those are the number one uno numero start with the plants get them going they will cycle your tank too you know why because the leaves will die create ammonia therefore kick-starting the nitrogen cycle for your fish okay so uh, anyway like in this tank alone I've said before I think there's 15 16 species of plants. I actually counted last night and there's over 25. And they're all thriving and doing well. Okay, and that's because I studied my plants first. And I knew what was going on. I didn't say, oh, oh no, all the leaves died. I'm going to rip all the roots out and just say, forget this plant. Or it doesn't look here, it doesn't look good here anymore. So I'm going to pick it up and move it somewhere else. Don't do that either. Once you put a plant there, just give it some time. You may see it die all the way. And then magically one day it just starts regrowing again. Okay, and uh, yes, that goes for anything. If you're at a PetSmart or PetsCo, I've dealt with them all. Stem plants, Bacopa, Temple plants, um, any of your uh, crypts, your red crypts, green crypts, uh, Cryptocorn Parva, Cryptocorn uh, Flamingo, you will find at these at these places, uh, Pet, PetCo and, and PetSmart. Um, and then the two plants will all be different types of Java ferns and Anubias. And you'll find dwarf hair grass is a common one. They're all doable. They'll all die back, but they'll also all come back. Provided that you're doing everything correctly with your water, you know, changing your water and giving your plants some kind of nutrients. Substrate is, it is uh, plays a huge part in it. You know, don't just put a bunch of pebbles in there. And I can do a video on that too. So if you have any questions, I will speak to each and every single person. And if you've heard one fact, I will correct it because I've done, I've done my due diligence. I spent months looking through old encyc encyclopedias, Googling stuff. So um, I know what's going on here. All my plants are alive. Actually, last time I did a video, I thought a plant had died all the way. And it had it, it had died all the way and sent a root all the way across my tank and started all over somewhere else. And that's... Uh, let's see. That is this red one right here. I thought all my red plants had died, and I got a lot. Um, they just need a little bit more iron than others, which I, I, I did find out the hard way. Red, red plants do want a little bit more iron, so I got some iron supplements for that, but I thought it had completely, it, two months had gone by, saw nothing. They, they died instantly, and some plants will do that. They'll just immediately fall apart and melt into nothing, and by melting, yes, turning into mush. And months later, lo and behold, almost overnight, I see a random bloom. So even there, it didn't fail. So to this day, every plant that I've done on this channel has survived. And it is still here, months and months later, in every plant, in every tank. Uh, anyway, uh, thank everyone. Uh, you know, Please hit the like button. It does kind of bolt up the algorithms with YouTube and all of that. Anyway, so thank you again. Yes, all my videos run about 9 or 10 minutes, and no, none of this stuff is scripted. I just start talking with whatever I, I think of at the top of my head. And, uh, yeah, there are a lot of awkward pauses. I'm good at making things awkward. And then I'll start talking again. But, you know, there it goes. I give you facts. I show proof. I pull the plants out. We plant them. We look at them months later, see how they're doing. And now we're doing some fish. We're doing some shrimp. We'll get into that soon. Thanks again. Keep following. We'll do uh, videos every week, um, my children included. And we do have, uh, see over there? You see that? Yeah. Bunch of plants to come. I'm going to do all new ones. Every plant I do, same thing. Video every time. Plant it. 
and we'll go from there. Thanks again. Have a great day.